every off season we spend all this time, you know, you, you want to have hope. You want to believe that a situation is going to work out. So, oh, Mitch Trubisky. Oh, yeah, he could re- he could resurrect his career totally. And and then they got Kenny Pickett. He could be super comfortable because he played at Pitt. He's in the same building. And Mason Rudolph, you just never know. So you always go into this, and then it always gets to the point where they get on the field, and you're like, oh, right, Mitch Trubisky, Mason Rudolph, and Kenny Pickett. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the problem. Look, we're a long ways off from training camp being over. These guys could improve to the point where they prove to be very capable quarterbacks. But I just think that – just like Carson Wentz last year with Indianapolis, you know, like we're like, oh yeah, Carson Wentz is going to resurrect his career with Frank Reich. And then it gets there and reality often differs than the fantasy that we concoct in our minds. And I think in this case, perhaps very possibly that could be the scenario that plays out. Mike T, do you expect the Steelers to get more out of their quarterbacks this season than they did, let's say last season with Big Ben? I do. Ben just wasn't the same the last couple of years. And when it's all said and yeah. done, I think Mitch Trubisky will be the starter. He has the most ability. I think if they had real belief in Mason Rudolph, they wouldn't have added two quarterbacks, not just one. And I really like Kenny Pickett. He reminds me of a Matt Schaub type of quarterback, smart, and can get the ball down the field. It's just not going to happen overnight. And I think when we start playing games, Mitch Trubisky is a better athlete than we realize. He can make plays with his feet. So I think when it's all said and done, Mitch Trubisky plays this year, and he may play better than Ben a year ago. And then long term, I think they're in great shape with Kenny Pickett. Uh, Damian Woody, what do you expect the Steelers' offense to look like this season? Well, listen, I, I think uh, I think it's going to go through the running back. You know, the, the first round pick from last year. Okay, so I think Najee Harris. That to me is the focal point of the offense. Obviously. We know the limitation that Big Ben had last year. And Mike Tomlin even talked about coming into this year, he wants a quarterback that's a lot more mobile that will be able to threaten outside the pocket. So, you know, that's why I tend to I tend to uh, believe that Mitchell Trubisky is going to be the guy at the quarterback position because he can bring some of those type of things. But in the end, Najee Harris, to me, is going to be that focal point. It's going to be the engine to that Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Hearing that, Mike T, it takes me back to something you did when you were with the Jets. You think that the Steelers will regret what they did in the draft getting – uh, pick it this season when it's such a quarterback rich draft coming up this next season. Maybe they should have went, let's say, offensive line in the draft instead and then wait for the following season to go get a quarterback. Brian, that's a great point. You're so much better off drafting offensive linemen because when you go in free agency and you have to overpay offensive linemen, <laughs> sometimes, Brian, they're not reliable. They get hurt. <laughs> that is a wonderful point. <laughs> I am so glad you brought that up. Uh, this feels in personal. all seriousness, <laughs> an, offensive, an offensive line in a good running game is a, great way to get, is, is a great way to get a, uh, a young quarterback going. Look at Big Wood. He loves that. And I know he's like, he's like yes, absolutely. Hey, uh, hey, Jeff, hey, don't worry. He not – ask him how many times they ran behind me when, uh, during the, when I was with the Jets. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.